Then we have AVR. Now AVR, we put an X on AVR, because for the basics, we're not gonna worry about AVR. We're gonna cross them off. AVR has zero friends. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Paramedic Coach back here with another video. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is the 12 lead EKG, all right? Whether you're an EMT watching this trying to get the basics, or you're in paramedic school and you're trying to figure out what's right for you, this is a 12 lead EKG basic lesson. Now, if you're just watching, hit the subscribe button down below. Join the Paramedic Coach family, guys. We're a family here of providers that are looking to take our skills, our patient care to the next level, and I'm here to help you guys out. So let's get stuck in. So here we go, 12 week EKG. So first, we gotta know that the way that the 12 week set up, there's different sections, okay? You have your heart monitor, print the EKG out in different sections here, okay? So guys, the first section that we have is gonna be lead one, okay? Then we have two, three, AVF, AVL, AVR, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, okay? Now it's just two up and two down, okay? We're gonna explain all this to you in this basic 12 week lesson, okay? My goal is if you're an EMT watching and you are with your paramedic partner, you'll have them print the 12 lead out and you'll be able to look at it and have an idea of what's going on. If you're in paramedic school, I wanna make sure that you understand this because you're about to be testing on it very soon, especially if you're being prepped for paramedic school, which is what we do here. So here we go, first we have uh, lead one. Now, first thing you need to know is we're gonna talk about which leads are friends. This will make sense later, but remember this. So guys, lead one is friends with AVL, okay? Two, three, and AVF, they are friends. They're a group of three, and, and because of that reason, everybody is against two, three, and AVF, okay? Then we have AVR. Now AVR, we put an X on AVR, because for the basics, we're not gonna worry about AVR. We're gonna cross them off. AVR has zero friends when it comes to diagnosing MI, okay? We have V1, V2, they're friends. V3, V4, friends. V5, V6 are friends. Now why does this matter? Because this is a, the criteria for a MI, a myocardial infarction, a heart attack on an EKG. Here's what it is. If there's two or more little boxes, also known as uh, uh, two or more millimeters, okay, of elevation on the EKG in, in two contiguous leads. Contiguous leads in your brain is gonna mean that they're friends, okay? If that's the case, and in the opposite friend group, it's ST depression which means two up and two down, that is a clear cut MI, okay? Now, could it be an MI if just two and three are elevated? Yes, that's true. But if you see two up and two down, that means they, this MI has been going on for a little while now. This is a clear, clear cut case, clear cut case, okay? So we're gonna go over this first. You gotta know this and who are friends. So I'm gonna give you a scenario. Let's say there's ST, okay, which is ST segment, the space on the EKG between the S and T. We're gonna go over this in other videos, okay? But you gotta know that it's elevated in the ST segment. Let's say in lead one AVL has three millimeters of elevation, okay? Let's say in two and three, there's ST depression, MI. Fair? Fair? Okay? These are the basics. We'll get to more advanced stuff later, but this is the basics, okay? Let's say there's an elevation in one and five. Is that an MI? Nope. They're not friends. Is that very weird? That's very weird. <laughs> but but, but um, they're not friends, so it wouldn't make sense. So now let's look at what sections that this all looks at. So when they say a lead, what that means is different views of the heart. So watch me on this. One in AVL, look at the lateral wall, the sides, the lateral wall of the heart. Two, three AVF, it looks the inferior wall. Remember you have superior, inferior, the inferior wall of the heart, okay? AVR, don't worry about AVR. Don't worry, they have no friends. Why are we, why are we worried about it, okay? V1 and V2. 
the septum, the septal wall, okay? V3 and 4, the anterior, the interior wall. V5, V6, also lateral, okay? So remember these things, okay? So now when we look at this, this uh, all the leads here, now everything's supposed to make sense, okay? So now, guys, I'm going to give you a, a scenario. What if, a bonus, what if you had ST elevation, V2, V1, V3, V4, V5, V6, 1, 2, 3, V4. What if you have ST elevation everywhere? Do you know what that is? Two things. Either a massive MI or pericarditis, okay? I'm gonna explain in other videos. I just want you to know, if you have ST elevation all over the place and it doesn't make sense, it's probably gonna be pericarditis versus MI. Is that fair? Remember, the MI is gonna have a pattern to it. Two up and two down. ST elevation everywhere, it's probably gonna be pericarditis. Okay, you're obviously gonna alert the hospital, but it's pro let's say you have SC elevation one, two, three, ABO, ABO, B3, B5, B4, all over. It's probably gonna be pericarditis. Still an emergency, obviously, but two up and two down is your classic MI, guys. Okay, and always look at the signs and symptoms. We'll go over that in other videos. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching our basic EKG video, and guys, I'll see you next time. Hit the subscribe button down below and join the Paramedic Coach family. And guys, we'll see you there. Thanks.